This meeting tonight is dedicated to the memory of a young brother in our community who, who lost his life uh, within the last month. Um, many of you heard the story of a young man who, who lived in the Lincoln Houses, a young man by the name of Gregory Willis, Jr. You, anybody hear about the young man who went missing on the 19th of January, was found, his body was found in the back of one of the buildings at Lincoln on the 23rd, the following Sunday. You all hear about that? 17-year-old, promising young man, was on track, had a vision for himself, what he wanted to do with his life, interested in music, wanted to be a music teacher, tight with his family. We don't know what happened. Had a meeting last night with the family and the, 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 the lead detective. They haven't found anything um, that, that would make the family, let the family understand what happened to their son and why did he lose his life. Uh, they say that he, I'll use the word fall, because we don't know what happened, but he fell from a 14-story building over there. Um, tough situation. We want, as a circle of brothers, to do all we can to support that brothers. There's a website that has our mission statement. I encourage you all to go there when you have a minute, read that mission statement, and uh, see what you can take away from it in terms of what the vision for the circle of brothers is about. But it's basically about men coming together and taking care of the business that we need to take care of in this community for our youth and for our families. Uh, uh, with Mr. Edwards, also known as Abdul Raouf. Uh, Walter J. Edwards is, as I said, the chairperson of the Harlem Business Alliance. It's an alliance that advocates for small business, businesses here in Harlem. Uh, he's the CEO of Full Spectrum, a real estate development company that has two, uh, I'd say, uh, what do they call them? Uh, flagship developments here in Harlem. Uh, it's a company that's been around here uh, around for about 22, 23 years. Flagship developments in here in Harlem, right on 116th Street to Palahari. Uh, an African, uh, has an African motif to it, a condominium development there. Also the con condominium on 116th and 5th, called 1400 5th. Full spectrum has a satellite office in Jackson, Mississippi, where that company, I could, I could speak and I can speak knowledgeably about this because i got to tell you, I work with Full Spectrum. Uh, and I'm, I'm honored to, to be a, 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 an accountant for, for Full Spectrum. But we have an office in Jackson, Mississippi. They're ready to do big things there. We also have some projects in Africa. One that's already on the ground, a housing development in Senegal, um, and some other projects in the pipeline. Uh, finally, Abdul Raouf is also the chairperson of the board of directors of, of the Mosque of the Islamic Brotherhood. He's several other things, but I'm not going to take any more of his time to say that. I want him to speak and share his vision with you. I've asked uh, Walter Edwards to speak on business development, the importance of business development, and what it means for our community. So without any further delay, Walter J. Edwards. All praises be to Allah, the magnificent and the merciful. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Peace be unto you. I thank Allah for placing me amongst you today. And among the other members of this this uh, uh, dais here, you know, because they all have something to offer, as you all have something to offer. And I thank uh, Abdul uh, Kareem Muhammad for having a vision and going out and working overtime. And I know how hard he works because he works for me. He's in the office when I arrive most of the time, and when I leave, he's there. So I know, and then to come out and do all of this, you know, what a blessing and for all of the place him here among you. So this evening, first I'm going to say to you that anything that I say that is worthwhile and good, give praise to Allah. Anything that I say that is harmful and wrong, blame me. And if I say anything to offend anyone, I ask that you forgive me in front. I'm going to take a little unusual approach to uh, the subject matter that Brother Abdul Kareem has asked me to speak about. Because I find in the, in the years that our people always look for intricate ways to do things. We always have to create something different and new. And everything is relatively simple. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. But we're always going out looking for a hard way to do something. Instead of taking what someone else has done and build on it. You know, uh, I, we were speaking about Sheikh Tafiq, Rahim Allah, 
And I remember him saying that, you know, we create too many foundations. Everyone want to create another foundation. And we have foundations that have been here for 100 years that people have forgotten about and we would just take them and build on top of them, we'd be so much further ahead. So I'm going to take an example and try to work and lead into this community economic development and, 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 and not for profit. And if it's any such thing as not for profit economic development, I don't think that that's such a, a vehicle. But it is a, a, a vehicle that can be used for, for profit. So it gets you in the door of, uh, of activities that you would never be able to uh, get into. So uh, I want to just start with not reinventing the wheel. And I want to use some people just as an example. I don't want to knock anyone or anything. I don't want to praise anyone or anything. But if we just take the Jewish people, for instance, who are small among us in, in groups, in numbers, but they have so much control. Why? Because they use two, two real lessons that prophets gave to them many, many years ago. And they, they live by that. Prophet Moses calls them the law. And if you deal with the Jews, you know that everything is about the law. They're not going to do anything unless it's based on law. Not spirituality, but law. Then, Prophet Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons. Those sons did not get along. They sold Joseph into slavery. They were about to do the same to Benjamin. And they just did not get along. But they are known as the 12 tribes of Jews. Those 12 brothers were given different tribes, different assignments. And they knew their place. They knew what they was good at. And that one that was good at farming was the farm. That one that was good at, at being the, the general and, and doing the killing and everything, that's what he did. That one that was good at spirituality, so they thought that was the one that was head of the, the temple. So they, they knew their place. But how did they get there? Jacob was on his deathbed. And the, the, the children came to him and said, Oh, Father, what do you have to be pleased to us? And he said to, say to one of them, Go oh, by the fire and bring me some sticks. You know, bring me some of those sticks from the fire. And he brought back a bundle of the sticks. He took the, the strongest one among them and said, Hey, yeah, you take and break this stick and eat pop this stuff. So that put all of them together. Now break it. Okay? He couldn't do it. So he said, that's what I'm leaving you on. Unity. Unity. Something that we are very lacking in. We find more reasons to dislike one another and not to be with one another than anyone that I know. We wake up in the morning looking for a reason not to like our brother, our sister. And that's really our fear. So we would just take a few lessons from them. We, if we have a plan of action, we go out and broadcast it. You never hear them broadcasting their plans. You never even hear them discussing their plan. Because they go into the temple and sit into a corner and very quietly discuss their plan, and when they come out of there, they know what they're going to do. How many of you know that the money coming into a Jewish community has to pass through 16 hands before it's permitted to leave that community? Excellent, excellent. But each of you should remember that. I will pass through our hands two, three times the most. So how are we going to really benefit from our own money? Okay? If you break that circle with them, then they isolate you. You cannot make money with them. They don't care whether you're their brother, their father, whatever it is, you are isolated. You have broke the rule. How many of you know what car preference they, they drive? 
Anyone know? No, sir. No, sir. They definitely wouldn't drive the Mercedes. They don't drive BMWs. They're German made. Mm -hmm. They drive Lexus. Take a note every time you see them, see what they're driving. Mm -hmm. You never hear anything about it. But if we started today and say, man, Cadillac has taken all our money over the years, we're not going to buy Cadillacs anymore. We're going to take that money and put in a pool. Somebody would go out on the sidewalk and start broadcasting. Hey, y'all, we're not buying Cadillacs anymore. Cadillac will come up with another model. That will get you. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just that kind of thing that I wanted to just open this up with. So that you understand what the unity is. So that you understand what sitting down and discussing what it is that you want to do. And being the best at what you do and do that. Mm -hmm. I cannot be an architect. I know a little bit about architecture, but I cannot be an architect. I don't try to be. I go out and get architects. I'm not an engineer. I don't, go, don't, don't try to be, I go out and get one. I'm not an accountant. This brother's a, a, a qualified accountant. And all of you, if you're gonna do business, you need an accountant. You definitely need an accountant. I don't go in and try to do his work. As a matter of fact, I probably send him work that he don't even wanna do, that he think that I should just go on and do anyway. But no, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, I'm not going in his areas of expertise. We need to learn those type of disciplines. Each one of you in here knows something that the other one don't know. I guarantee you that. That would be very useful in a business venture. But we don't even talk. I notice how we come into events and we make certain that we set far apart from each other. We can't even have a conversation that far apart. You know, we should be always close. We are brothers. This is what business is about, whether you believe it or not. It's networking. If you're going to develop a business, you have to have a network. You have to have somebody that you can call to get what you need. And if you haven't been networking with them, they're not going to give it to you. And if they do, they're going to sell it to you at a price that's going to break you. But if you've been networking with them, doing all right, they're going to do things to help you. So, brothers, out of this, I thank Brother Karim for the brothers to brothers. But make it a brothers to brothers and decide what it is that you do best. And let's go do it. Okay? That's the only way we're going to build a community. That's the only way that we're going to build a, a, a social network because that's what not for profits is. They do the social work. Okay? So anyone that thinks that not for profits is economic development, strike that out of your mind. Because you can develop the, the greatest not for profit in the world and the government say, uh uh, I don't like the way you're handling that. They come and take it from you, you can't take a dollar. All that, that you build is not yours, it's government. But when you go out and put your equity and you build assets by, by making the hard choice and, and being disciplined to go and do business, not to look good, but to make money, to take care of your families and all, you know, you have to know the psychology of business. I see too many people come in and, and the Holland Business Alliance, we have a micro fund that we lend to small businesses, up to 25,000. But I see too many people come in and they request 10,000 when they need 20,000, okay? So they start off from behind the eight ball. If you watch most successful business, when they go into business, they borrow enough money to carry them for at least two years. Give them an opportunity to be like a plant to take root. Give them opportunity to get some strength behind their business before they start taking money out of the business. Okay, so you can make it doing anything.